Sebastian Vettel delivers Christian Horner verdict after B0SS Aston Martin complained. Sebastian Vettel has delivered his verdict on his former boss, after the Red Bull main man launched an attack on the Germans' current team Aston Martin. Whilst Formula One was out in Barcelona last month for the Spanish Grand Prix, Aston Martin revealed an upgrade to their car. The reveal drew real similarities to Red Bull's RB18 vehicle, leading the Milton Keynes-based team to launch an investigation into the Aston Martin upgrade. Following the controversy the FIA investigated the claims but cleared the Silverstone-based team of any wrongdoing. Despite the criticism from his former boss and team, Aston Martin star Vettel revealed that there was no damage done to his relationship with Horner. Per Planet F1, he said, No, I mean, everything that's been said has not been said to me. I don't think it's on that level, so no problems on that side. Most of the criticism was in fact aimed towards Dan Fallows, Red Bull's former head of aerodynamics who went on to join Aston Martin. This aspect of the controversy however was something the four-time world champion did not agree with. He added, I think just some of the things that were said. Especially when it gets towards the person, I don't think it's right. Aston Martin have since defended the upgrade, insisting that it was drawn up midway through the 2021 campaign, after the team produced two plans of attack to fit in with newly introduced car regulations. Discussing the decision to originally produce two designs, Vettel commented, there's the opportunity for us to, you know, explore different ways this year. So I think from a design point of view, the team didn't want to be stuck one way. I think, you know, the time when both cars, in a way, were in the tunnel was very early was right before the season started. And then, you know, for sure there was an uncertainty, which one is the most more promising path. So the decision was taken very early. And yeah, I don't remember exactly but I think before the first race, around the first race, and from then onwards it has been a big, big push, because it's basically a new car. But I think with the previous car that we had, we saw that there was some difficulties like other teams are also facing and are struggling with. We didn't manage to really make big, big progress. So yeah, we believe this is the better direction. It's not our decision. It's entirely up to the team, the engineers, mostly aerodynamic department, to lead the way and then for everybody else to have the headache of solving the problems. Thank you.